Anderson to serve. Mastodons go far side, gathered by Bishop. Yosia, now to Preston. That one had some juice on it. Mastodons just getting it over. Bishop coming aggressive at it. That one was nearly out, but Betts kept it in. The rally continues. Bishop, now near side, Preston. Gathered once again. Ruckhoy just has to get it over. This long rally continuing, going back and forth. Preston looking to end it, and she does just that. Michigan State. So Mising on the serve. Now near side for the Mastodons. Yosia now going near side to, to hold them. Nice dig from Yosia. Now Mising a back line to Anderson. Anderson really strong first set of action so far. Now Kulig this time, that one stays in. Susanna Kulig able to give the Spartans. Make those dumps and find those holes in the defense. Tip shot coming through. What a pancake that time from Yosia. It's tough to see it from the spot that we were sitting, but that one was pretty to keep this rally going. If the Spartans can come away with a point here, that would be an incredible play from the libero in the green and white. And that one, Spartans were having. That is probably the biggest advantage Wisconsin has tonight, the size. Much bigger at every position, including on the pin. There's Orzo with a little roll, but it's picked up. Into the cross court, dug by Lola Schumacher. Dumped by Crawford, but kept alive by Brezowitz, the libero for Marquette. Backcourt attack, and that goes down for Jenna Reitzma. Use players like Schmreck and Booth and get them involved in their offense early. Anderson starting because Charlie Furbringer out with injury tonight in a walking boot. The star freshman setter for the Badgers, so no go. So Anderson making her first Badger start. Recycled. Anderson running the bump set. Brezowitz takes the second ball, and Marquette plays free. Almost went down. Orzel there to save it. And Wisconsin ends up winning a helter-skelter point. Sending an overpass to a player like Carson Murray, that ball is going to go down as a kill. Orzel is dug. Guchtekin lays her body on the line. Off speed on Chante, picks it up. Schumacher down to the ground. Out of system tip for Orzel. Reitzma takes a jab at it. Here's Crawford sliding and didn't put it away. That ball still alive and wiped off the hands for Reitzma. Sides of the net there. But what it really took was Jenna Reitzma being a little bit stronger here, pushing that ball second, just muscles her out to get the point. So a flex on him point for Marquette. For Reitzma, and they're within two. Wisconsin has led throughout this set after Marquette one by three in set one. Franklin back row with some thunder. Second ball taken by Bray, the middle out of the back. Franklin almost, but Fody runs it down. Free chance now for the Badgers as Marquette tries to get set defensively. And not much you can do to stop that steam. And having her as part of your staff. You mentioned her pro career. That's what stopped her from doing this earlier. Hard to charter her over from Turkey and Russia and all across the world where she was playing, but playing with League One Volleyball for Team Madison this winter. Help made that possible. Badger fans are going to get to watch Lauren Carlini play in Madison again. That is a dream. And for Charlie Furbringer's dad, who'll be the head coach of that team. A bump set from Guchtekin. Out to the pin for Hamilton. And Franklin tipping down the line, not there. Guchtekin overhead. And Franklin! Puts an end to the point. 
on the match. Their high is 28. Five away from that. Will J. Gutzigen hung in tough. Right back to the pen for Hamilton, who's covered up. Orgel cross court. Weitzma is right there. Hamilton almost made something out of that out of system play. And Robinson slides out to the pin. She's making it really difficult by serving right on top. Goes after Brezowitz, the libero, and serve receive this time. Schumacher up the set. Direct jousting. Zigzags around that front line for the Badgers. Hamilton, off speed, not here. Orzo cross court. Yes. You need to take it in, but you can't let any of it show on the outside, and that's exactly what Chante is doing. Franklin looking for a new season. A new career high, excuse me. Already has the season high at 26. 28 is the career high. And a big block. Smrek and Robinson combined. But just to go back to your scheduling, what you were talking about as Schnitta just puts in a hammer of a serve. This is going to be more like when you travel and play UCF and Nevada. This is going to be the feel of a normal Big Ten weekend. And I think that's the mindset that Adam, Co Adam Hughes and his squad are going to be going into Orlando with. Well, look at this rally from the Hornets to keep it up. Brian, another attempt kept in play by Allen. Now Tomlin, it's blocked down. Ellie Watson and Sid Teller. But you want to see a bit from Spahn. She has offered quite a bit, and there she is right there cleaning up the scraps. She'll get another chance, and in her few features this season, she's impressed. Long rally brewing, has to come over. Maryland can get in system here. Long sets it near side. Schnitta, that's too easy. Well, here's Clancy serving. And it'll be pushed over by the Hawks. Garcia trying to find the other side. Blocked by Nebraska and Garcia will push it back over. Nebraska, yet again, Lauren Medic with the kill. <laughs> Sometimes it's better to be lucky, but they weren't there. Garcia with the hit, return by South Dakota. South Dakota now, blocked. We'll just have to hit it over. And Garcia again, dug out. By Van Hook, and the big hit blocked by the Hawkeyes. Galis with the serve. The hit by South Dakota. Able to be returned by the Hawkeyes. Here's Garcia. And then through the original blockers, but South Dakota sets up. Garcia again. Great digs by this back line of South Dakota. And it's going to bounce off of. Good up by Cho Boy. Another fantastic up. Bump set Riley. Into the block goes Krause. Roll shot from off. Cho-Boy there again. And the dunk by Bergen Riley. Much better set two here for the Cardinal, hitting 227. Block in a big reaction from Kurt. Push outside. Oh, great up one handed by Ogilvy. Back throw, Beeson's blocked. Good coverage. Murray into the block. 
Stanford all over the net right now. Here's Jackson. Diving over by Ruben. Slide Jackson. Got it. Looked like Sarah Lazan got called for that one. Another tough serve receive. They're out of system again here. Graven good. Tough swing. Nearly put it down. What a diving dig by Wright and Rousseau. Keeps it alive. The back set, slide blocked back. Free ball for the Wildcats. Hill up the middle, nobody home. And Northwestern off to a flying start. About everything Tim Nolan could ask for to start this one off. Carter up the middle this time. Tough play for Chernelia. Graven Good gets it back once more. Right with the dig, back row swing. And coming over for a big dig is Hoffmeyer. They keep going for Graven Good. It's not there right now. Here's Hazan on a tough one. Wow, how did she corkscrew that in? Buse Hazan with kill number four in the early going. In the NIU defense every time. Graven Good. Doug. Back set for Randorf. And that's a great dig by Hoffmeyer. It's in down the line for Lazan. Sarah Lazan's first. Summers is there. Just no good attack angles there for Atiemo. Dug by Navarrete. Rousseau all the way across for Reed. What an up there on the far side by Nedich. Rousseau returns the favor. Randorf on the free ball. Lazan, it's in on the block, Reed and Summers again. And that Northwestern front line continues to be effective. Into the net, she's been playing so well tonight, but just a rare miscue firing it into the net. Randorf off the bump set, nothing doing. Here's Nedich blocked back. And she tries again. Dealt with in the back row by Wagner. Hurt in system. Up the middle, Atiemo. So low stuff. As a true freshman, really impressive stuff here from Livings. Trubin sending it over. Shu setting up Myers. Trubin finds it. Ariel with a deceptive hit, but it's kept alive. Big swing there from Batenhorst. Kept in. And that one sent over to Trubin. To Aninga. And that one hit by Batenhorst and a point to the Trojans. And they're really using them well here. Also tied at 20 apiece here in the second set. Strubin sends it over. Shoot to Myers, and that one blocked, but kept in. Flickinger sends it over to Gosnell. To Aninga setting up her favorite target, Batenhorst. And that commanding hit yet again from Leah Burrell. The opposite hitter, as it's been nothing short of a back and forth game thus far. To Aninga. Livings, a tough hit. Let's see if Patterson can keep it in. She does. A really good pickup. And Anyan Wu tries to find it, but she's met at the net. Batenhorst. And Batenhorst with another kill. She's back in the double digit. The Libero Hastings hits that one over. Anyan Wu forced to send it over again. And a block there, but kept alive. Hastings regroups, sending that one over to Trubin. To Aninga, to Batenhorst. Hastings. To Aninga leading this good rally. Hastings again, setting up her team. And that's a kill from Leah Burrow. Here's Shu yet again. Hits that one over. This time Trubin finds it cleanly. Batenhorst with the kill attempt. Shu setting up Flickinger. Flickinger. The Gosnell finds it. And that one hit nicely, but Flick, but Gosnell rather finds it. Livings deflected. Good rally here. Livings blocked at the net. A really good sequence there. The South Dakota's attack. South Dakota now looking to get it back. Sealock with the hit. 
Phils returns it. Hits it light, but able to save it is Wolf. Phils again. Getting her point. Sometimes better to be lucky. Certainly is in the serve. They're headed for the back. Kaios hits it over in a diving effort by Warden. Keeps it up. It's Medic to Van Hook for the Kaios. To stay alive. And Medic. Returning the hit. Seelock. That'll be in for the Coyotes. Patient didn't work too well there, and you can see right now some worried faces for the Coyotes. This set might start slipping away from them. Medic trying to save it. Blocked by the Hawk guys. You can set up their offense. Garcia with a soft touch over the net. And the Coyotes having a battle. Hawk guys blocking everything in sight except for that one. Medic getting it around the blockers that time. I don't know if it was really there or not. Well, winning stall will serve it over for the hot guys. If you get back into action, Gibson with the block there. Iowa able to dig it out. Big block for the Yotes. Is Iowa able to get it over the net? Phil blocked by the Yotes. Use the middle hitter instead. Makes it up on offense. That's a big hit by Morgan Bodie. Tough to handle, but Iowa able to do it. And now Garcia, blocked by Medic. He's set back up. Garcia again. Not able to find it, they'll go to the other side. Iowa trying to find a hole in this defense. But the Yoke stands tall. If you want to get something out of this third set, if you're the Hawkeyes. Urquhart with the serve. A big hit set up. Iowa having to dive a ton this set to keep points alive. And a big block by Whittingstall. Allows Iowa to set up in a big hit by Dom Bills. Able to get that lead back up to three, 18 to 15, and they have an opportunity to to go on a run of their own to try and put this one away and get to that fourth set. Urquhart off the hands of the blockers. South Dakota sets up. Medic with a big hit. Diving effort by Galis. And Phil able to drop it in there. The big hit for the hot guy. Her last serve into the net. This one getting over. Garcia. It's the hit. But South Dakota back over. Seelock. Tough get there for Galis, but able to come up with it. Seelock trying again. Block this time. South Dakota with their backs against the wall. The serve. Set up for Phils. Ferris able to dig it out. Seelock. Returned by Iowa. Here's Garcia. Trying to soft your approach. A quick push by South Dakota, not going to fool the hot guys. South Dakota getting time to set it up. Seelock not able to get the kill there. Phil's powerful and off of Ferris's hands and out of bounds. Elena Wolf to the serve. Iowa. And a battle medic. The big hit from Whittingstall. Dug out by the Yotes and Medic. Her turn for a big hit. Be pushed over by Meitzel. And the Hawkeyes will reset. Whittingstall blocked. But it'll end up on the South Dakota side. Iowa. Throughout the season, Merzik has really established herself as a leader, the grad student, a transfer, but also a captain for Penn State. Tipped up, Grimes digs. Izzy Stark, back row to her sister. Big swing, dug out nicely by Clemmer. Now on the near side, Reed denied. Now over to Schnell. Big left-handed swing, blocked again. Winrick, right back to Schnell, blocked, and this time it hits pavement. Jess Merzik with seven kills already and a service ace. This one goes all the way back to the Penn State side. Grimes to Izzy Stark. Mendelssohn on the swing. Dug out by Clemmer. 
Now it's Reed blocked, kept alive by O'Toole. And Reed gives a free ball to the Nittany Lions. Izzy Stark, far side now to Hannah, denied by Ilter. I think she hit Mendelssohn's hand to be able to get the touch on that. Even Katie Schumacher Colley getting in on the action. Watkins now to Ven Veldman, dug out by Angelina Stark. Now to her sister, Merzik, dug out by McNeely. Watkins tried to dump it, kept alive by Mendelssohn. Watkins this time down the middle to Smith, hit off the net. Izzy Stark sets Merzik. This rally has been long. Ilter now trying to finish it off. Kept alive, jousting at the net. Punched forward by Mendelssohn and McNeely dives but can't get it. James Madison needs to come up with something quickly if they want to claw their way back into this one. Veldman, McNeely, back to Veldman, blocked. Kept alive, Veldman now, dug out by Grimes. In the middle, Trammell blocked by Neal. Izzy Stark, now to Merzik. Clemmer digs. Watkins far side to Veldman, and Veldman gets the, tried to get the kill, but Grimes digs it out beautifully. Watkins, now to Ilter, dug out again. It's Juravicious, it's still alive. Watkins to Veldman, taps it over, and finally James Madison gets it to the hardwood. Who again keeps leading. UNLV runs with a good serve there. Gosnell just has to hit it over. For Beast with a good touch. Over to Tuaninga. Nearly with another kill, but UNLV keeping it in. Long rally here. Living's looking to end it. And she gets the kill. Peach, one of the few left-handed hitters on this court tonight. Fafard hits it over. Gosnell over to Tuaninga. Jaden Livings will get a chance. Kept up high by King. Chloe Thomas knocks it over, but Batenhorst able to handle it. Another attack by Livings. Matos will just have to get it over. Peach gets a chance. Long rally here. Both squads looking strong. Batenhorst up. Tuaninga, Livings. Still not able to get that career high 17th kill. What a long rally we have here, Devin. Some incredible saves. And Chloe Thomas ends it. Big vertical, she gets up high and hits it down. That's three straight matchups where Livings has set a career high in kills. Can only imagine she'll go up from there. Chloe Thomas just has to knock it over, nearly finds open court. Anyanwu over to Tiwaninga. King keeps it alive. Freeman with the big hit. Guys now keeping it alive as well. Batenhorst nearly ends that point. And another long rally here. Over to Chloe Thomas. Gosnell to Tiwaninga. Livings with another kill. Kill number 18 for the true freshman. Thing too, to move her to opposite to compliment this girl right here about to serve it Hester both of them being front row options is so huge for the Trojans Orzel overpass attempt but what a dig Schumacher responds on the other side a little miscommunication here it comes free for the Trojans where will they go it's Butler Butler one more time. Lock gets a touch, but looked like Orzel got a little bit spun around there. Didn't know where it went. Entered the match with 10 aces against just four airs. Orzel off speed. Schumacher easily gets this one up for the Badgers. Can anyone get back there for Troy? No. Big point win there for the Badgers. There's the serving sub, Bates. Also happens to be wearing the libero jersey for Troy. Good serve there. Quick set the middle, but Crawford one arms it up in the air. Still alive on the Badgers side. Butler sent back, and a chicken wing, not enough there. 